What's going on guys? Welcome to the Android 2.0 series uh, where we're going to get into some real business like stuff. Now if you've watched my other series, my Android series and my Java series, you're probably pretty smart but you don't know some of the stuff a lot of people will ask you to do if you're working as like a freelancer such as like writing data, storing data, connecting to a web service, connecting to a database, local database, remote database, all this crazy stuff that you're going to need to know and that's what we're going to cover in this series is more of the useful things that Android can provide for you and we're gonna start out with just you know sharing some data in between two activities so I have a calculator that I created for uh, I don't know, just for construction calculators as you can see I click a button and this is a different activity such as like 15 feet we're gonna hit submit and it passes that information back to the previous activity that we uh, set up so basically all we're doing is we're transferring information between two activities and that's what we're going to learn about in today's tutorial because I've got a lot of questions asked about that so let's jump into it I have a new project a class called numbers and just your main class whatever you guys call that I don't know why I said 4.0 series when we're actually in the 2.0 series so it doesn't really make sense but this is our main activity um, I have two XML layouts um, and our main one we're gonna have let's see a button here a button here um, text view text view sorry and lastly a button here okay pretty basic don't worry about anything else make sure your labels are set up as the default like button one button two button three and text view one that's all we're gonna need for our main XML file for our numbers XML file it's gonna be pretty easy as well we're gonna do a text field and we're gonna take one that uses numbers here just drag and drop that in there um, and we're also gonna have one button okay so pretty simple setup for both of our activities. So let's save this uh, and also go into your Android manifest. Now we're going kind of quick, but if you guys watched the previous series, you know how to set all this stuff up. Just to make sure though, uh, we have a numbers class and we have the name as mybringback.com.theworks.numbers is our action name. So that's what we're going to call for in our main activity. Again, going quickly, if you guys are confused, make sure you check out my Android 1.0 series on my bring back, and uh, you'll get caught up. It's going to be awesome. So uh, make sure you check that out. So now that we have the basic structure set up, let's go into our uh, main activity class. Again, this is our main layout. And let's set up a couple of buttons here. Okay. So we're going to have button uh, width and height and area. Okay, so there's our three buttons. We're also going to have a text view. Well, actually not. Uh, I'm sorry. Our third button is going to be calculate. Let's do that. And then our text view is going to be the area. So set those up. Make sure you add your imports. And we are good to start going here. We're going to have this activity implement uh, the on click listener. That is from the view, not the dialog interface. So make sure you got that going, and then we have to add our unimplemented methods. Pretty awesome. Uh, let's just copy this over to our numbers class. Again, I know I'm going kind of quickly here. Again, numbers extends activity and implements on click listener. And again, if you guys are wondering why I'm like getting those shortcuts, it's just Control Space, and that will bring up those you know quick inputs there. So now we have both of our activities set up. Uh, we want to set up our width variable. We're going to have this be begin a button find view by id r dot id dot. We'll say button one uh, height is equal to again r dot id dot button two and calculate. It's going to be our third button. Find view by d. Whoops, r dot id dot button three. And lastly, our area is going to be what we change when we hit the calculate button. Excuse me. Area is going to be text view. Find view by d. R dot id dot text view one. And now we have all of those set up. Uh, we want to set up our on click listeners for our width and our height. On click listener to this again height. We're gonna set the on click listener. Whoops. I know I'm kind of just talking about what I'm doing here, 
but uh, that's because I'm trying to go quickly and when I try and you know be funny or just annoying it kind of slows down my typing and since you guys know how to do all this already alright so now that we have all of our basic needs set up in our the 4.0 series let's go into our numbers and set up the one variable or the two variables we'll need and edit text we're going to call this number um, and what else? Our button. And we're going to say send info for our button there. Okay, again, we need to set these up. So number find view by ID. And we're going to say, um, I forgot what it was, r.id. Edit text one. And our send info button find view by D or ID uh, what was it was it button one two alright so we'll just say button one as well and now that we have that set up saved and we also set our on click listener uh, we'll probably end this tutorial I know we you didn't learn anything new but uh, it's kinda getting lengthy in the next tutorial, we'll actually put this all together, make it useful, and you'll actually be able to transfer that data like I promised. So again, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you then. See you later.